Alrighty, let's get into NA. Um, Kalbunga versus W. I think W are the old... No, not the old sages. They're old, uh... Web weavers or something. Weavers, even. Uh, when it comes to draft, I think... I know it's like... People think that Barkus is like super, super top tier. But with Fenrir, Sasano Band, and the Barkus, Jingwei, Loki trade, I think that's really, really good. What this this setup that did... Panatom top toying here, top toying his jungler, forces literally their jungler onto Thanatos, which I don't think he's the greatest. Although he is bugged, it's weird that he's allowed to come through. You can have perma death vision on someone. Um, also, everyone here is magical damage apart from Thanatos, and that's not like the greatest. Um, but then again, on this side, everything here is physical damage. Unless it's no, nah, it's not going to be Odin support. So it's ma team magical versus team physical is what I see. Uh, but yeah, when it comes to draft, I do think that uh, Kalbunga has the upper hand just due to the fact of um, global presence. Nick Loki is really strong. Uh, unmissable combo if you have hands. Thanatos shouldn't be allowed to play the game with Nick Loki in the game. I pick Ares. Ares is an Ares actually gets farmed this game. No. I think Ares gets absolutely destroyed by these guys. I think this solidifies that you put Amir in support and Barkus in solo, by the way. Anyway, that's probably not going to happen. Surely not. I don't, I don't think anyone's thinking that hard about it. But you definitely follow the uh, Ares with the Amir. Uh, Odin, once again, I didn't get to finish, I don't think. Really strong due to Shell not being picked up. Um, what would be good is if... They go like, uh, whoever the support is gets the shell, and then whoever the solar laner is gets a sunder, and then everyone else can do beads, and I think that's the best way to do relics on the side of W, and when it comes to these guys, they can actually pick whatever relic they really like, there's no god specific relics I see for these guys, whereas, you know, beads is forced here, and Odin forces shell, so I think it's a really strong comp, just with those two gods. Right, let's get into it. So Happen, the support player, he has Sunder. They're going triple Sunder. So their frontliners should be completely fucked this game. I'm not going to lie. Paul going for a strength start, which is interesting to me. I probably think Book of Foth is way better, but we'll see what's going on. The triple Sunder team invades. Two wards for Karmic as the solo laner. I think that's such a wasted money. The, yeah, I think wards are dog shit. I'm not even trolling. You get one minute of vision. You should just get like six bots. Or five bots. This Amir soul level one, incredibly strong. Should be looking to fight. Definitely should be looking to, to walk in here and give some pressure. Happen and Tigva. Both junglers starting red side. Make sure we take a point of that. I think they misplayed this. I'm going to go back. Why are they not walking all the way up and just focusing the shit out of a raw? Body blocking him in, sundering him. He definitely dies there with body blocks and uh, focus. And that is going to be a disengage from Kawabunga. So no big follow-up fight after. But Happen does get the buff, so it's still a worthwhile trade. He misses the wave. Unlucky. And they should just go straight back to their purple. Right now. Like... Ooh. I don't know what that hesitation was for. So both Soliners do have Sunder, but Sot has hold, held on to his Sunder. Just because they kind of get you that early XP bump, you know, you get that first buff camp too. Nice by Karmic. Flop, yeah, does a lot of damage to Archers. You can actually insta clear with Flop. Um, is predictable and is punishable, but um, if you're in a strong position, Bark is absolutely disgusting. Level two spike is really nice for a Ymir. Ares, not as much. You still get decent. I was about to say, yeah. This Doi lane, this Amir plus Soul combo should be running the early game. 
And Hakate, I think, sucks. I'm not gonna lie. So many people have, like, pumped it up, thinking that it's really good, but it's such a utility pick. And I think in Smite 2, time to kill is too low, where, um, utility ain't the best. Like, her 2 has a weird function where it actually is enhanced by more abilities going off at the same time. But in Smite 2, I feel like you want to be the person who's casting first and, like, being the aggressor. Like, obviously, she's still such a fine mate. Like, one, her two's fine. Her ult has some sick plays. Where was the flop? Interesting that he just dies there. But yeah, Hikate to me is a question mark. I think Cuckoo's underrated big time, not gonna lie, because no one's picking bees up in multiple roles. You're able to really combo his ult really easily with any support player, right, in a competitive setting. Should be easy to hit that wombo combo on anyone without a, uh, a relic to stop it. Alright, they've pulled Panathom over to the Doyle lane to alleviate some of this pressure, which I think is a good play. Uh, they know that they're dead, surely. Yeah, it happened. Gone. Too predictable in, like, your, uh, plays there. But... This is good by Valo. No beads by Valo. Doesn't own it. That's why. I don't know why I thought he had beads. Nice. He's so fast with that move speed buff. He goes up. Just wait for his cooldowns. Doesn't wait for his cooldowns. Interesting thought process there. Maybe he thought landing auto is the guaranteed kill, but... Uh, Gets the Sunder off. Uh, he might be dead. Nah, he's fine. Soul Peels, it's fine. Completely fine. Alright, it really sucks that the Spectator doesn't have a way to, uh... Oh, this is big. Oh, no, dude. He went back to the wave. Unfortunate. Kind of the better play, I'm not going to lie, but... Look at... Uh, happen is... Is trolling? Is that the components of a Shogun's first item into... No, it's not. It gives... It's the components for Pharaoh's Curse. What this item does is uh, active that uh, slows... It's physical only, like physical protection only. I think it's got some cooldown on it, and it also slows the attack speed of enemies around you. Um, I'll try to chuck it up on the screen, I guess. But, I don't know if that's the best first item. If I remember correctly, which is highly likelihood that I don't remember correctly, um, it doesn't have health on it. No health on that item, because the components had no health attached to them, so I'm assuming that has no health attached to it also. I think, in this scenario, Mystical Mail is a fine first item. Very happy that we see an early gold fury. <clears throat> very, very happy. That's the tempo that was missing from the EU finals. Like, early golds are so easy to blow up. Perfect, perfect. The next thing on the map, minute 30 away, we got the, uh, the Naga. We'll see if Kawabunga's ready to go with that. Nice by Karmic. Karmic, you need to jump away. He jumps in. Playing for the Thanos gank, trades one for one. <clears throat> I mean, you kind of are happy taking that as an Odin. I'm not gonna lie. Odin uh, gets a lot more value later on as this game goes. But Karmic picks up the mystical. Oh, they try to combo. They do get the Ares. Does he have combat blink? Uh, this is scary. Yeah. Also, didn't think about it this draft, but Hakate 3 gets negative value. Literally no value on the uh, Hakate 3 unless you're shielding someone with chains. Obviously, you're never really using the 3 to stop damage, but, you know, a little minute thing. And now that has worried me. That 
like he's magical if protection. I, take a bit more damage. And it's just a thieves, I'm guessing, but still. <clears throat> you don't need it, brother. So it's a great tool don't need any magic prod this game. Or if you want to lock him under the tower real quick for that next tower shot to guarantee. Didn't have that there, so Aurora was able Unless you're anticipating the Soul Reaver coming out, but... Meh. Takagagi online for Valor. Valor? Valor. Really Pretty standard devs, that's different. Book of Thoth is completely fine. It looks like that, um... Yarko was able to secure his own purple? Potentially? Because they didn't pick it up and it was grayed out on our screen. Even if there is an arrow there. Oh my god. Dude, if I am... Sot, I'm screaming that Karmic is flopping me every wave. Panatom, it is the it's the most free win condition ever. I want to see if Panatom does double scaling. Surely he doesn't. Which so far in Smite oh, 2, well, and there's the... Right I'm sure that's the same punish that I just mentioned, that he always flops the wave, and they just use Neethal um, to get the kill. A lot of what it means in Smite 2 is, is roaming around, right? Obviously, you're going for ganks, you're helping your team out, there's CC, there's the good stuff. It also typically means you're not picking up any buffs because you're... Four to seven. Eight buffs. minutes in. Here. Two and a half K gold <laughs> uh, lead to Kalbunga, something you would expect from a gold fury in a couple kills. Learning some of these other items, especially ones that are securing neutrals in mid and left are the way that uh, W kind of get back into this game. So Oracle is obviously a good first step. This buff, this buff. Pap and poked out, unable to impact the map now. Mid tower, pretty free whenever Kawabunga want to take it. To be honest. But they're playing for Yakul. They're playing to dive this soul. Bit early. This is kind of insane to me that they went for left tower instead of mid tower. What? What are these veterans thinking? Oh, so close to getting an accidental... Uh, Kill. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Big. Uh, pull gold instantly. Don't reset. Pull gold instantly. No need to think. Just rip it. They should have Sunder up in... Oh, never mind. Yeah, they have, they have the jungler Sunder, although it might be bugged on the spectator. You never know. Globe needs to go back and look for Pole, which he kind of does. They get it, and then they just reset. Paul so disciplined to not chase that. Two levels up. Oh, never. Well, he was about to be two levels up. It's a little bit more damage coming in. Nearly a kill over in solo lane. That tower hit and sought a little hard at this stage of the game. It is a very uh weird dive there. Try and get that little bit of extra on to Tigva. And I think that's one thing to bring up with the Sundering Art is that we talk a lot about what Sundering Art is used for when it comes to Oh, did Sot dive? Oh, Karmic, don't greet a wave. <laughs> oh, no. Aurora got his ankles broken. Aurora's dead. Wait, Karmic's dead. Uh, why doesn't Karmic just get out? <laughs> like, ever. <laughs> Comic an Australian solo laner right now. That's how he's playing. Must continue to fight. Must go in. But anyway, as I, what I was saying was happened. Sold his magical protection item. By the looks of it. Um, it's a mushroom next item, I think, from Happen. Globe with Deso, something that I didn't see in EU, I don't think. We get Tekokagi from Panatom with the trans. We get Cosmic Horror from Paul. Gives you a lot more int scaling. Is it Cosmic Horror into Heartseeker plus Soul Reaver? I wonder what the sixth item is in Paul's ideal situation. Alright, crit online a little bit now for Yark. Even though he's got like 10% in his build. It's just that two. Getting some levels inside it. Second to Billy. 
Good poke here into a raw. Make sure you don't commit too much. That's perfect. That's a perfect uh, dual lane play right there. I like it. A little micro. But walking up to this wave is where you fuck up. Loki's hunting behind. But Loki looking for the 1v1 in the jungle. Oh, it's it's on. No scythe means he's just dead. Perfect to just ult away. Well done by everybody involved there. Um, but fighting in Doi lane after this has happened is kind of crazy. You know you don't have advantage. You don't have priority. You've actually just had to use everything in a defensive manner. So why did blue team or W try to play aggressively when they were actually on the back foot? For well, that entire time as well. The Doi lane play was uh, poke and then step back. The Thana had to ult away. Loeb's so fucked here. Yeah. Big downside for Karte. You can't get away from anything. Like literally anything runs at you, you have to turn around and walk away. And if you're turning around and walking away, you're not actually playing the game, so... Kind of a, a bait pick in my opinion. So anybody who does get pulled is being pulled out of the Odin cage, taking extra damage. Anybody left in the Odin cage, well, now they're just stuck in an Odin cage. They're not. What are they doing? Out. They're doing the Naga. Down it goes. Pole should pick it up. They know the min max very good. Queen Naga scaling with levels, not with anything else. They get the happen finishes the mushroom. Kind of a bad item this game, just due to Odin's existence, like eliminating it. Sot going either Storm into Genji's, which is a great build path into magical solo laners. So if you're into Hades, into Barkus, into Amir, definitely, you know, that path is fine. If you're an ability-based god like Odin, or even Mordred. Happen, Tigva, pick it up, Globe on the way. Good little knock-up. Happen does have the thousand damage Sunder online. That's a fine trade. You're always happy to do that as the support. But, you know, red team do have the the tempo to pr punish now. Don't think they will. Nothing for them to find due to both towers being down. Now, if you're that support player and you die and you lose two towers because of your death, maybe you could say it's not worth, but I think it's actually not too bad due to the map state. It is weird that Tegvi is so far down. In XP, but has been getting some nice kills to match up to. And Paul having that one level lead really is just that ADC combo that that carry. Is Ooh, Velo is getting some protections. Right What's he building? Phoenix? No, it wouldn't be Phoenix. Why would it be Phoenix Shield? Uh, Void Shield, so he doesn't have to build uh, Serpents or Titans, maybe. But even then, that's a bit weird. Ten percent instead of a uh, power and ten percent. Maybe Void Shield due to he knows that Panatom might be hunting him on cooldown, give him some extra survivability in the jungle. I hope it's not cookie cutter from him, that's all I can say. Love getting a pen item here. Is that what the eye is? I always forget. It used to be what it is. No. Thank God. Oh, he did go to Hooty. Meanwhile, Globe has kind of just been sitting at this Book of Thoughts and Sphere of Desolation. Now, I wonder if Tahuti has the issue that Deathbringer has where it only affects the stats that you have upon its purchase. That did nothing to Karmic, even with a three level lead. Interesting. I like their macro, they're just death bowling, but not death bowling, they're like poking around objectives that they want to play for. Forcing the blue team to walk back and defend, and then instantly leaving. Right? It's just kind of stalling the farm that blue team can have. Because they're too busy running back and forth between things that you're pressuring. 
Nice by Gloob, decent by Gloob. He gets the little TP out, but it's not going to be enough. A weird wall by Happen, and uh... Oh, no. That was a nice play in the back, but Valor still gets it. It looked like Panatom kind of... I thought it was an instant outplay, but... Uh, this is a bad team fight. Although, getting, getting pole is huge. Now, they do get to play for anything they want here. Interesting to keep going here by Yarkor. Nothing else to really play for, I guess, is the mentality. Plates. There's plates to play for. And then there's that gold on the map. And then you reset for gold. I meant this little mid-camp gold that they should clear. They go this to Naga. Yarkor should, or Sot should just go pick this up. I don't know why no one's going to go pick that up. Maybe a raw. Raw's kind of useless here. He's not doing too much. Um, yeah, no one's picking it up. Unlucky. I don't know where they're going. Where is Yarko going? Is there a wave at the tower that I can't see due to the map being bugged? Probably. It looks like blue was up, but it wasn't up on the map. Interesting, no reset, no gold, priority straight away. They're just ripping this? Alright, you have to kill Sot. He jumped in, you have to kill him. Yep. Yep, this is fine, this is fine. Is gonna be the one who gets the hit, and it's gonna be W with F. Get out, do not chase Panatom. Just leave. Oh my god, Yarkor's inting too. I can't believe they're inting this bad. Oh my god, the damage is disgusting. I don't know what Kawabunga were doing. One, splitting up so much, like Sot just going in alone. It's giving me flashbacks of the combine I played in yesterday, or like last night. My beautiful solo lane of Wax Python kept going in as Hades, just solo walting five people. They were big ults, but he was alone. Similar to Sot's big ult, but he was alone. But it might be too dangerous, and I don't, I don't know, J-Mac, he might have overstayed as well as a ball. This is where the blue team eventually throw. Are they staying on the map for a tier one tower? To start getting picked off, or is Panatom getting picked off? Oh, Panny. What's up with all these hero plays? These guys are looking pretty bad. You would not be happy. Oh, and the Ancient Fury too. Anathema's Charm comes out. There's a Sunder up on Happen. Sot does have Sunder. And he gets it. No CC on Solo or Trolls. Kind of the misplay there. And then flopping in after the play is crazy. From the side of w, a nice little I think um, Sunder isn't correct. Sometimes it's showing up as the flat amount of what it is, and then sometimes it's showing up as um, the scaling per level, like the extra 25 per level. But uh, most of the time, it's just showing the flat base amount, which is dog water. Because if you have a three level lead, you should get an extra 75 damage on your Sunder. We should probably kill him first, and that's exactly what W did. Or whatever it scales to when you're 10 levels plus. But now, what does W even get to do with this fire damage? Okay, two hex stones on the side of Kawabunga. A roar with the hex stone means he's able to bore in and then alt if he chooses to do so. Oh, there's been a little bit of a silly buggers found in mid. Are they able to get out? Karmic once again, just not on the same page as his team. What's he doing in Narnia? They found the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Interesting that Tigva goes Executioner. Oh, the ball gets walled off. Beautiful. Sot also gets plucked in. This is good by Karmic if he plays time. Like, just sit there and juke. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, you don't need to walk in like this. Unless there's a kill, he just kills him anyway. Never mind. That's good. Gets the blink. But what do they get as the consolation prize after? And J Mac, that's just the tip of the iceberg. It feels like for this order team, they get to keep pushing. And while they didn't get that, so Globe actually Globe's ult there. It looks like it whiffed and it only hit Solar Troll. But like, 
that's a good use to separate Sot from the team, because it seems that if Sot isn't going in, Ares has no room to play, and Panatom is always playing this lurking angle. He's never actually playing team fights as a uh, secondary initiator. And it looks like the team fight is on the back of Sot plus a raw. Um, I can kind of understand the mentality behind that, but I don't think with, once again, Smite 2's time to kill, it needs to be this slow, the way that Panatom's playing. His build is good enough to kill someone. He is a little bit behind, but Globe should not be able to live with a uh, Loki in the game. I feel like it's quite an easy target to destroy. Especially if you thought that you would be able to farm Valo and then he's gone defense and you're like, damn, I don't know what my target is anymore. It's a pretty easy swap to Globe. Reaver online for Paul. I'll say it. If these guys didn't have Paul as the mid laner, I think um, W might be winning this game which is insane you look at the name power but pole are always so consistent right on the current comp, it's not the craziest thing. Maybe for Ares, you use it to try and pull people a little bit further back with your ultimate while you're channeling that one. No, J-Mac, it's how you get in. It's not a lot of crazy tech and specific case use, but the extra CC immunity is probably the biggest factor. All right, Deathbringer finish for Soul. Big power spike here for blue team, the W team. Uh, no Deathbringer yet online for Yarkor. Yarkor going a, an interesting build, <laughs> I'll say. Fatalis, Demon Blade. For the Ares. Well, he went XE second into Musashi's Dual Swords, which gives you move speed. Into Demon Blade, f what, fourth? Just don't get Demon Blade if that's your, your MO, right? I think pulling this as blue team is your only condition to lose. You need red team to pull the objectives. So this is uh, this is how they I get the the four one with the annoying Loki, and blue team can't pull objectives. And the reason blue team can't pull objectives is because of uh, Odin initiation. Like Ares is there as well. Their damage is actually quite low on objectives compared to that of Kawabunga as well. And uh, Loki being so slippery is quite an issue, but Sot trolling. I don't know how he gets picked out there. That Nathal did no damage. Or was that just heroism paying in dividends? Alright, Valo needs to hit Pani here to start a fight. I think Valo goes up. He hasn't gone up. Why are you taking so long to go up? He does get a kill anyway, but Yarkor in the back just free casting does get hit by Tigva. This fight was so close to going so well. Two things that change it, like completely, by the way, is, uh, oh, Valo's just popping off as well. But if Valo went up a little bit earlier, and if Tigva hit one more auto, let's go back and have a little look. So Tigva, he does all right. If that was a double execute, maybe it's even better. Globe and Tigva grouping into a Loki slash thing, uh, Jing Wei is really bad. Pol also getting a lot of value here with how tight they're grouping. If that was a crit onto a uh, Jing Wei, completely different fight. Ready? 572 crit. This Aldo, 286, barely lives. If that was another 576 or whatever it was, the damage from that ult doesn't go off. There might be a bit more way, a bit more damage done by Tigva, which means Yarkor gets to die instantly, which means that Pol gets to be the target faster. Like, that's a really close fight there for the W team. But it is a quadra for Valo. Interesting, interesting. Imagine if he had Jotun's Revenge there. With a quad with, like, six seconds coming off your, uh... Auto attacks all the time. Good discipline here by Valo to not farm the wave. Um, Paul was hunting for it, obviously. 
Unfortunately for W, good fight, good fight. Do things fall apart and kill GMAC, they don't get the I'm going to skip forward a tiny bit to when all 10 members are back up because nothing's really going to happen until everyone's back. So everyone's back and it looks like Kawabunga are able to take the initiative and pull the Gold Fury. Uh, I thought this Gold Fury... Whoa. You guys can fight this now as W. Like, li mm, This is so interesting to me why they're not fighting. Blue team should definitely be going. Nice. Good trade. Support for jungler. Always fine. Oh, how did he... Survive there. Karmic misses the flop. Looks like me on the Barkus, so I'm not gonna lie. Nice. Kiting back with the soul, just destroying everybody. Good. Go in and die. Get value. Nice by Valo as well. Yeah. Big, big misplay was by Sot. Using his ult to wall out the um, Amir with Sunder. It's such a crucial team fight tool. I don't think you can be using it like that ever. And to be honest, if Amir's going to walk up into Sunder range, you have a Neath to root him. You have uh, Jing Wei to just instantly kill him. Like, just you kind of want the Amir to walk in. No, that's how I see that interaction at Gold Fury, using the massive team fight ult to stop the Amir from committing suicide. Literally, saving happen. To be honest. Hmm, they're going for the end. I don't think they can get it. Panatom does have Jotun's Revenge as well. Well done by Panatom. They were way too low to uh, attempt that. But that was the game if it, uh, if Paddy didn't have that dog in him right there. maybe not even the most glorious and glamorous looking slash line. But losing How much time do they have here? Because Tigva is staying on the map quite a long time. These guys need to play perfectly to not lose the game. I think they may lose Midbird, Happen and Tigva. Karmic cannot be walking around just doing jungle. You're... This is nuts. It's nuts on two fronts, okay? Red team not hunting the lazy backs of blue team into an inexperienced team, right? Karmic sh probably should have died. For flopping into red and then two oh, I was, it's kind of the same vein a blue team like farming blue buff and like running back all laxy daisily like all chill that's a game losing play right there and how slow they are uh, ended up getting back Sot's build is okay. I think shifters might be bait with that build. Due to not having too much power, the 25% plus power doesn't really do too much. Um, something he could have looked at is uh, the Talisman of Protection, I think it's called. Like 70 int plus, or 70 prots plus 20 int or something like that. It's like Voidstone, but not Voidstone. Um, just due to scaling on his ends as well. It's not the worst. But it's just pure magic. It's just pure stats. Void shield is needed. Obshard done for pole. I like this little grouping that they have. But this is kind of how you get a bit too silly. Uh, it's a roar. He gets the boar out. Big cage coming in, surely. Oh, everyone's so split. Yeah, it's fucking coffins here. Nice punish, actually. Nice. Sot gets the boar onto globe. Tigva is on Yarko. Yarko also getting destroyed by Sot. This is where it's getting a bit sad now. Sot on the Odin. I think Odin is bannable. I'm not going to lie. I think he played the Odin not the best this game, but it still had so much impact. Tigva did okay. If Tigva and Globe were a bit more on the same page, it's kind of nuts. Mmm, Ankh by a roar. Very crucial. Ruinous Ankh, I think it's such a good item. Such a good item. Everyone's just healing so much. 
least get the fire jam up for Panatop. And it's mainly due to crit meta being like in life steal, like you just crit life steal, everything's back up to full HP. And as well as mushroom being put down every fight. But FG down, we're gonna skip forward a little bit to see what the next phase of the game is. The bird comes up and it looks like it's a posture. The gold. Globolt is gone. Oh, happened. He's cooked. Nice wall happened. But that's that's the adaptation that they they should have made it gold. Like the misplay that Cowabunga did at Gold Fury was ulting the Emir out. That time they change it, they ult him in. You know, like they actually kill the Emir there. Very very good. Ancient Fury going down. I'd like to see a three two split. I actually no four one split. You do a 4-1 split with Loki on the far side of the map, and then you have Neath ult whoever attempts to stop Loki from taking Bird. Very simple siege phase with this comp. A very easy siege phase too, there should be like no... It's in impossible to misplay this siege phase. The only way that um, it goes badly is if blue team all in right now on this Bird. Doesn't seem they have. Or blue team needs all in right now on mid Bird. You can't let the uh, the splitting Loki have time to have, get an effect. And it looks like they're once again not pressing any buttons. You gotta press buttons here. You have to attempt something. Yeah, too afraid. Look, Pole's setting up for... Nothing. Red team were the first people to pick... Press button, sorry. Looks like happens down. And then... We didn't even need to use the Loki splitting strategy. Blue team's so hesitant to actually do anything there, but it looks like Flop should have come in 20 years ago onto the back line. Thanos should have gone up in the sky. So much, uh, yeah, just just too, too afraid to lose the fight, I think, is one of the traps that inexperienced teams have, but you have to do something. Otherwise, you lose kind of like that. You allow the team to be the aggressor under your own bird. Um, Ancient Fury is also down, FG is also down, you need to kind of catch them, catch them out. But that was a decent game, to be honest. Like, I think uh, the Weavers or W um, didn't do too bad. Karmic dying ate a lot. It's kind of nuts. Happen also getting picked out quite a bit, not really valuing his life. But I wasn't really too impressed by Kawabunga too much. I think Odin is a massive issue. Um, and maybe actually even worth banning in the long run if you're not going to change up your relic strategy but we'll see what they change it's a Fenrir Barkus ban with Sano first pick and then they pick Loki what Loki Odin Loki Soul they go Jingwei Neath oh, they go Jingwei Neath ready oh there's Jingwei oh they take the Odin dude it really is that good I'm telling you they should have Loki Odin up here yes Soul's good or even, wait, you don't even need to go to Loki. Just go Odin Soul right there. Take Loki third pick. But they get the Neath, Amir. Yeah, the way that this draft gets better is if that's Odin up here. And then you can get Soul. The Amir's fine, it's whatever. I don't think it's too good, but the Soul Amir lane has a lot of priority. And Jingwei kind of wants to scale. They get Airy Sakate. Sakate is really good into Amir, in my opinion. Also decent into Need to Meet if she ever backflips. But he should just really auto her early. Be really oppressive to Sakate early. And they get the Hades. Hades into Odin. Crazy. Alright, let's get into game. I don't care about Goro. J Max, sorry. Looks like a five man. Alright, we'll stop for a sec. Paul and Yarko both have Aegis. That's probably due to Loki being in the game. There's two Sunders on the team Solo or Troll and Aurora. And then the B, uh, the Blink on Panatom. No shell on the side of Team W. Another mistake. One of the backliners can get shell as well, by the way. Like Tigva could get shell. But then again, it's that Ares Odin combo. You can't get shell on a backline arm. Trolling. Didn't even notice that they got the same core draft again. It's unfair. It really is unfair. They need to. Uh, you need to put more respect on the solo troll Odin. It gives me uh, nowhere near as close or as impactful. 
but it gives me like that remember the leviathans at worlds where they played erlang gilgamesh that's literally all they played for the entire LAN. they played audio and solo all, all LAN at worlds and then they played erlang or gilgamesh and that was it and it, everyone's just like losing to the same comp over and over again that's what this looks like it's uh aries odin Okay, Panatom and Yark starting on the speed. Aries solo invades purple, and then the red team have their dual lane do purple. This is a start I've seen quite a bit. Pretty big solo queue start. Oh, why did he greed? Right, I like it. Actually, I actually like doing speed. Now, if you watch the junglers, they should both go to this mid camp here. So, Loki goes red, backs, backs. Definitely paths to this mid camp. And then he's stuck on red buff. So, this way, you still actually get neutral advantage, and then you still have back camps available. This is really good pathing by Valo. Like, I'm really happy with that. In my opinion, that's the best uh, neutral start. Where your dual lane looks after your your speed side jungle and you go red backs backs mid camp backs backs. And I'm also watching this carefully. Susano shows up in mid. Good damage. Good chase down, but no pullback. And Paul's gonna focus the wave a little bit more. But that kind of poke you had mentioned, the Neath, the Loki, you lock them down, you, you sit down on this Hecate, and maybe you cause a lot of trouble. Susano needs to be just as prevalent, I think, in this mid lane. Anything interesting? No. I like seeing the different Neath starters. That's good. No, I don't know about Bluestone. With very little effort. In fact, we might get to see it here. Pull back. There's the Yeah, that's pretty standard. I'm not going to lie. I think Hades into Odin is an awful matchup for Hades. I think it's the one matchup where I like you don't want to actually play Hades at all. Not gonna lie. Pretty close to themselves, so I like the answer back in Muley from Valo on the opposite side. But the thing about Susano in, in this day and age is that he creates the ultimate game of chicken, really. It's who is going to use their mobility first whenever that jet stream is connected? <sighs> Are you gonna backflip? Well, it's been kind of impressive gonna this set, not gonna lie. And then I get to teleport in, or do you just wait out the entire way and then you don't get to teleport at all with that jet stream third ability? So, seeing him use it on the Hades over in the right side of the map, Hades already using his dash to escape means that now he just gets a jet stream for free under the tower, and it's just a matter of waiting for that first ability to cool. Down. Gold about to spawn, no three minute golds. Kind of kinda troll here by Valo. I don't know what the prio's for. I think, he, like, he's... Oh, Karmic. They have found the win condition. Happens dead here. Oh, Yarkov played that, like, fucking dog shit. That's crazy. Yarkov played that fight so bad. should be very thankful that that is in fact the case falls back and gets a nice little reset well, jmac again this is where things can get why would you go leave the mid attempt oh no comic not again oh comic it's coffins the game is literally unplayable for this hades that's the kind of pressure that you don't want to fall you know and be susceptible to you don't want this to be this kind of repeat, hey, they keep getting a pick, they keep getting a pick, they keep getting a pick. Especially when all oh, man, Sun is so broken. Great for Panathon. It is good for Panathon, but he is going to start hitting that point. Nice little gold rush. Hold that thought. Perfect. Nice. I like that. Wait, W not playing too bad. Who sundered though? Because sunders are bugged on right side. I, mean, I reckon all relics are bugged. It says uh, Valo secured it, and I heard the sunder noise, so I'm fairly certain um, one of them sundered. But. Mm, I think Gore is so wrong, or is that JMac? I don't know. One of them. So the, the point that's being said right now is that yes, you can gank Hades, but there becomes a point where it becomes irrelevant. 
I don't think that's too true. It's the only uh, lane right now that has early game priority um, and doesn't necessarily scale. Right? Like, Karmic should be okay early game to clear. Why'd he walk out of that? Oh my god, Paul. <laughs> it's so funny watching uh the SCC teams or you know the amateur league teams once that play is over I'll show you what, what I mean by over right so here you're alive right Loki's alive and like it's over now like it's completely over there's no harm in just like freezing that wave at tower no harm in like not clearing this there's nothing up for you to do all you have to do here is like literally nothing and you're fine and he stays alive to see another day but, like happen stays on the map like 50 percent hp like why isn't he back globe's fine to be in mid but like only he should be mid loki didn't back as well he went and greed farm like there's so many unknowns on the map shit's crazy bro Sundering Arc is the lowest cooldown at 110 seconds, but Aegis comes pretty closely after that, along with Phantom Shell. It's really that Sundering Arc and the Blink that, or sorry, it's really the, the Purification Beats and the Combat Blink. They have those very long... Ooh, hunt the Ares, kill the Ares. Uh, oh, lucky. Wait, Happen still hasn't backed carefully in the after that mid-fight. He's so, like, irrelevant right now. He's a fake Amir. Nothing worse than a fake support. Watching the farm game, and specifically trying to keep an eye on, on levels, right? Because that's what we were looking a little bit at earlier. And watching, more than anything, really the supports right now, who it seems to be... Oh, Karmic, don't even attempt to do anything, bro. Why does that bug always happen, by the way? Soul 2 just, like, fills up the entire wave. Panatom finds the kill on Tigva. Happen didn't want to freeze the whole combo, or what's the go here? What, what did he get knocked up by? Ah, uh, his freeze got um, interrupted by the ult. I gotta see why Tigva just... Uh, he got corner baited. Never mind. 100 to 0 by a... One item jungler. Mm -hmm. Not even a full trans. Just base trans. And some extra strength from the axe. They wait, and a raw gets aggro. That's a decent wall. Not enough though. Such a League of Legends meta. I'm not even trolling. Like the way that towers don't do shit is nuts. So you're able to tank like three or four shots and then re-aggro. Kind of nuts. Kind of nuts. And time to kill is pretty uh about the same as well. This is the most. League of, like, Smite will ever feel like League of Legends. Like, it'll never be this close again. So if you are a League fan, live it up while you can. Time to kill is so relevant. Towers are so weak. You got plating. <laughs> oh. The only thing that's different is that we're in an assassin meta in, uh... Smite. I don't think Valo can even safely go for one of these harpies. It's just going to have to be right back to the base to make sure he doesn't get ganked by Panatom or Sot again. He's coming going to die again here. No, he dashes to his jungler. Panatom just living in Valo's jungle. And it's completely fine to do so because his solo lane is so far behind. Happen gets the wall off, but dude... Happen does not respect his health bar. The way he plays is how you should be playing when you're ahead, I'm guessing. Maybe that's what it is. All he needs to do is respect his health bar and be around for counter plays. Oh, here comes Karmic. No, this is such a bad rotation. <laughs> it's getting paid off, but it's still not worth it, Karmic, no. If you know, you know. If you're from the Oceanic region, you know. That's such a quickie play right there. 
you're already down in lane, you're 0-5, and you think, I can save this game by ganking Duo lane, but it's just not good. It is not good to do that. Looking to zone things out. Maybe start up this gold fury. Dare w this is a bit more saddening to watch. This is like a game where if it were a scrim, you would probably reset it due to the start in solo lane. Redraft as well. Like, uh, not even redraft. Run it back, same draft. Because, look, it's a 3k lead, 2.7k 2, 2 lead, and uh, you're doomed in solo. I'm sure that entire gold lead is in one lane. Um, Tigva also down 02. Like, it's just Sisyphus moment. Like, red team have to be punished by rolling a boulder up a hill permanently to try to play this game just permanently too and Panatom's on Sasano and Sasano's the most broken he's ever been in any iteration they have Ares Odin they got Dream Draft like I think the only thing that could have made their draft feel any better would be Pole to be on Neath instead of uh, Picate and I'm sure that they don't really care which one he's on because it's Paul. Alright, right, so this 3k lead is going to get blown up, surely. We'll see it go to 5k at like 13, 14. We'll see if, if they had such high priority to be taking um, Dwelling Tower. And they've already taken it, actually. So will they ever take their mid tower? A raw looking for something, looking for beads on globe. Crazy. Just play tower, play the tower. Oh, Panatom. Why are you waiting, dude? What is he waiting for? Look, he dashes out. He re-aggroes. Bang. Sots tanking. Why isn't he dashing in, auto attacking that? What the fuck? <laughs> I'm so confused. He has no life steal. He just finished Polly second. That's not blood binding book. What was the? Ah, oh, I'm so confused. Red team hunting for someone in the left side jungle, but Jingwei nowhere to be found. Jingwei is flying back to the like the land. Is that a real Yogi's necklace on Solo War Troll? Yogi's necklace is just HP. That's not Yogi's necklace completed, is it? Ah, uh, rip. No beads. Perfect punish here on that, uh, the Neath. A raw. Doing the work early and then uh, punishing appropriately. Very nice. Do they play this corner up? Where happens coming from? Doesn't seem that they want to. Interesting, interesting. Definitely should have been ready to punish that corner walk. But they're going to play for a dive instead. What the fuck was that? Never mind, get out. Or they, no, they can keep playing for dive. They can play for tower here. Minions are in. Panaton wanted to have a bit of fun. Wall is down. It's fine. You have a minute on gold, you just clear this wave, you reset after Naga. Queen Naga, reset. Queen Naga, reset, they just grab... There we go, finally someone's grabbed that 30 gold each. 150 in the bank for the boys. They grab these Oris, they give up the Queen Naga, I guess. Unless... Wait, you can hit it through walls? I hate that. Alright, how... I, I don't see an angle for red team to get back. I'm not gonna lie. I don't see... Um, I don't see them getting the gold to get items to then have a comeback. You know, their, their uh, comp is so... 
gold dependent when it comes to um double ADC comp. Well, not even double ADC, but you know what I mean. Like Neath and uh, Soul. And your solo lane is so far behind, so you don't even have the luxury of time in team fights to hit an extra couple times. But if Yarkov for some fucking reason gets uh, Fatalis here again. What was that? Oh, Karmic. Oh, it's, see, it's so depressing. Dude, it does too much damage. It's a two level diff. Bro, that's and not cool. <laughs> that's like so shit. <laughs> Fifteen minute goal. I mean, fire. It's actually kind of troll. I don't ever think it's really worth. What you're doing is you're giving um, red team two ways to get back in the game. One, um, fighting a 15 minute fire when you're behind is pretty easy due to the amount of uh, debuffs plus damage you should be taking. I bet happen kind of fucking that up for them, aren't they? The other way is obviously all the split of the map, that farm that you can see Soul and Neath getting. Um, but also, there's potential to, there's always potential to steal. Uh, Valo does have Sundra up as well, so if this is a steal angle, well done. Oh my god, please get that bird. Please get that bird. Perfect, dude. Perfect. Dude, that's such a good that's such a good play for W. I think that's such a dub for the W team. There is an argument that it's bad for W because they'll never be able to get some farm in left lane anymore. But I think it's very, very, very uh, good. Because if blue team, um, a Kalbanga, if they fuck up a siege at a bird, it opens up a, a free win condition, right? The, literally tighten room access. Ancient Fury coming up too. If there's like a massive fight with Ancient Fury, you're definitely getting another bird for free. Two birds down. It's a good like little setup. I don't, I don't mind it. But how are they playing this Ancient Fury? I don't know. That I don't know. Happen getting beads active. I don't think that beads active works with air results. I'm not gonna lie. One of the first things I tested, and it didn't work like five times in one game, so I just... I think that active item is something that's like... You need to be under a CC condition for the cleanse to take effect. And because that isn't really a CC condition, it's a channel. You can't channel the cleanse the beads, which means... You're not cleansing anything, therefore nothing actually happens. But maybe it's been changed, maybe shit's been fixed, maybe it's an alpha. Seems like it's gonna get knocked down pretty easily right now by Pan Nice little 3 one, one. Very easy to do when you're so far ahead in the jungle. In right now, Why would you press 2, Yarko? Crazy. Like, if he pressed 2, hit the tower, hit uh, the Emir. Oh! Winnable! Wait, kill Jingwei, what the fuck? This is so winnable. Uh, Auto attack, you fucking moron. Dude, Karmic, you suck, bro. Karmic stinks. <laughs> That's crazy. Crazy Yarkor dashed in there, but I could see the, the idea behind it is that he dashes in, they all turn to focus him, big Hikate ult on his body. Yeah, 
takes down the right burst. So two great phoenixes now taken down for Cowabunga. All right, we'll go back to 10 bodies on the map. 10 bodies are... kind of response after, so wouldn't be surprised if we see really even just your core walk over and maybe solo that one himself. Maybe throw a roar over with the... Both support and solo lane for Cowabunga have once again got the... The pig stone turning to Tusky. Body blocked by the minion, so he couldn't actually try and go for the kill on a Karmic, but now it might be a turnaround towards Pen. What am I, what am I saying? It's a Susano. Why would I ever worry about a Susano being caught out? I think uh, this gold is pretty free. They do sunder it. it means there's no sunder for that fire giant. Barely. It might be up in time if they postpone it by like 20, 30 seconds, but on spawn, there is no Sunder available for Aurora. They do have it for slot though, so it's not too bad. Anything weird stand out in the builds? I have a little glance. No, Yarkor. He's getting uh, Neath altered on landing. Oh, you can't fuck that up. Ah, oh, GG. Big cage. Yeah, hopefully they just walk through an end. I don't want them to do fire here. They should just walk through an end. Although we don't see timers. Yeah, the amount of time that Jingwei can stay in the air is criminal. She's in there for like four seconds. No, dude. What are they doing? Embarrassing. What are they doing? That's like literally insane. Why are <sighs> Whatever. The fact they all ran to the, the Neath. Very saddening. Are they able to end here? If Sasano de does commit to Titan, I think it's very feasible that they end, but I don't see Panaton being the kind of guy to hit the Titan. Oh, GG. I really despise the chasing of players instead of ending games. What's funny is that's how the Valks actually qualified to the SPL, I just realized. But they were in Titan Room, that doesn't count. Sorry, I skipped it. They got left bird, they get right bird. Loki dies. To the blue stone. Okay, they heal it up. Do they end it? Sucks, because game one I thought was very close. But I think that both games, blue team literally destroyed draft with um, that Ares Odin combo. Okay, you need shell, you need beads. You can't have both because everyone has Sunder and Blink. Got to find an answer to that, whether it be redrafting or changing up how you look at relics. Other than that, I think <laughs> it was all right. Poor Karmic getting absolutely farmed. Is it is what it is. Tigva didn't have that good of a show. Like everyone just got farmed in game two. Uh, Valo probably closed out for jungle to watch. Um, I wonder if there's anything more to really talk about. There's not too much. I will. Like, there is OCE coming, but that's just completely separate to NA tournaments, so. Oh, well.